Okay. Today we are going to try to use the place statues mod at the request of uh, somebody on Eternal Grudge's Discord. So I've got um, a whole bunch of giant asparagus here. I haven't waxed them just for convenience, but you know they are what they are. Uh, and I've got you know God mode on, and I just I don't want to be interfered with by hounds. So the first thing you have to do is you have to turn on place statues. I don't like having it on all the time. I think it's a little buggy. So you have to figure out what your walking toggle button is. I think it is set to P by default or something like that, or maybe R. I think it's set to R by default, but I use R for a different mod. So I have mine set to Y. So when I press Y or whatever your walking toggle button is, it will call up Y, y also calls up the, the say. I got to get out of that. But it turns on play statues, and you're somewhere you will have a circle on your screen like this. That circle is the current center point of your statues. So whatever your center button is, you can press that somewhere. You put your cursor wherever you want the middle of your circle to be if you're making circles, and you press... And that becomes your new center. And then as you can see, I've got, depending on how big a circle I want, I've got these other statues here. So what I can do is I can go get one of the asparagus. And then all I do is I figure out where I want the first one. Let's say I want a circle that's this big. It's pretty small, but maybe it would be for one catapult or something like that. I put my cursor right in the middle of it, and I click the left mouse button. Wilson will walk there and then stop, and then I press whatever the drop button is. My drop button is Z. And it drops it exactly there, and you get pushed out of the way. Then you go get another giant crop. And notice if I put my cursor where that asparagus was, but then I move over to one of the other circles. I click on the middle. I walk over, I press Z, and I just keep doing it and keep going around that same circle. Now, if I was making like a hound mound thing, so this is one of the things I don't like about the play statues mod. It, it's a little buggy, and I find that sometimes I just start walking with for no reason, but ignore that. If I want to leave a hole, because I'm making an access point, let's say I want the hole to be two statues wide, I just skip these two. Click on that one. When Wilson is done walking, I hit Z. Well, look at this. I'm walking without actually trying. Like I said, play statues mod's a little annoying. That's why I turn it off when I'm not actually using it. But when you're actually using it, it's really great. So now I have this here, but I'm going to need an outer protector. Well, I can just move my circle out, and it gives me a new radius, and I can put statues here to make the outer wall. Same way. Okay, now, what if you are not trying to make a circle? The particular uh, Discord uh, participant who asked about this this morning, uh, I think is looking to make more geometric art designs. So for this, you want to change the type of placement, and for this you do control whatever your center button is. So... Um, you can do control, it's control P for me. That'll give us hexagon drops, lines, or grids, and then back to circles. So let's talk grids. So here again, I establish a, I, I say, I change it to the grid setting, and then wherever that big circle is, if I hit my center button, that's gonna establish that as a center point. Although it doesn't seem to be holding it. Maybe it doesn't do that for grids, only for circles. But that's fine. I can I can establish my own center point by picking up an asparagus. Left mouse clicking exactly where I want the first one to go. And then I hit my drop button so it drops it precisely. Pick up another one. I might want it exactly next to it. 
Click. Wait. Be nicer to be doing this. I, you know who I should have done? I should have done Giant Wolfgang. I would have been faster. Get another one. Let me turn my map so I don't have as far to walk. And I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just click. Wait, he's moving by himself. Clicking where I want to drop it in the center of the big circle. When I get there, I hit Z. And now I've got four in a row. And if I wanted to do something like, you know, giant uh, pepper, make a few of those. One thing I can do, there is a second point uh, button. No, that doesn't work for this. There is a, um, a what is it? Uh, control O. That's what it is. Let me go back to the grid. So I can do Control O and it'll offset it a little bit. So I could put one not on the same grid, but on a slightly like a half step offset grid. Again, I hit Z. I don't know if the peppers are going to look great for this, but it's interesting. I'm still offset here. Hit Z. And as you can see, you can make something fairly pretty. And then when I'm all done placing my statues, I turn it off. I disable position walking by hitting whatever my... My, uh my control center button is, so control P for me. It might be control P for everybody. And that's how you use uh, play statues. Um, again, if I turn it back on. Oh, it's, uh, I'm sorry, control the walking button, so control Y. But I can't be in the say, so control Y. That's how you turn it back on. Um, if I wanted to do... Um, If I wanted to do a uh, hexadrop, again, you just put, you can figure out wherever the middle was. This one you can establish, I think, a center point. Yeah, like that. So that's always your center point. And then I'd be walking to the ones around it or to a second row around it. But that this one is set for six right around it. But a lot of these, not not for the grid, but for... Things like the lines and the hex, the circles and the hexadrops, you want to establish your center point, and that's kind of the key, because everything is going to be based on that center point. So I can go pick this giant pepper up. That's my center point. Drop it right here, and then I could go get the next one and put it there, 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 and then I've got six in a very small hexagonal circle type thing. Okay, so that's the mod, and uh, I will post this and upload it, and then you can ask me questions. Bye.